<gasps> okay. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you might know that for the past couple of weeks, I have been discussing the fact that I went to Italy and telling you about my trip, telling you about the luxury experience, telling you about Italy in general. I will link those two videos for you because I think that they're really good videos. Like, I, it's fun for me to share. It's fun for me to share. So if you're interested in me sharing that with you, then I hope that you will enjoy them. But today I'm gonna to just be talking about what I bought in Italy and not all that I bought because I talked a little bit about what I bought in my first video in terms of like souvenirs specifically glass, but in this video I'm going to be talking about the luxury item that I bought in Italy. And I say luxury item because I only purchased one thing in Italy that is luxury, and I'm really happy with that actually. I went to Italy with a few things in mind to look for, and there was only one thing there that ended up being there. And I did buy it though, and I'm very happy that I did because oh my gosh did it go up in price too. So I got a pretty good deal on it, all things considered. Like, all things considered. I'm also really excited to unbox the thing I got because I haven't yet. I, I haven't unwrapped it. I've been waiting patiently to film this video before being able to utilize it because you know that's the life of a youtuber I guess that's what happens when you're a content creator you wait to unbox things until you can share them on camera it's very silly sometimes I don't sometimes I just unbox it and then I will show you later like my Delvo I unbox that immediately and then made the video after the fact but now I'm actually going to be showing you something that I did buy in Italy and what I bought. I'm gonna be sharing how much I paid, how much I saved, and just a little bit about that. But you know, I've been talking for a very long time. You're used to this, you're used to me talking forever. My timestamps are already down below. You've skipped to the unboxing if you just wanna see the unboxing. So let's get to that, shall we? Okay, here it is. I talked about this in my previous video, but I bought something from Saint Laurent and I'm very happy that I did. This is a bag that I've been trying on four months. I've wanted it in specifically this color and hardware. Obviously, I bought the thing that I wanted, and so I'm very happy to finally have it. So I talked about it in my previous video. I tried on three different things. I tried on the medium college bag, the large college bag, and the envelope bag, and those were kind of the three things I had been considering. I did look at the small Lulu because I really think the small Lulu is cute, but I decided against the small Lulu just because I know that it doesn't hold its structure, and I haven't been a fan of a lot of the wear I've been seeing on those bags. So Maybe one day, maybe I'll pick one up pre-loved, I don't know, but I bought this bag and I'm, I'm very happy that I did. So here is the bag and it's very small, it's very thin. You might be able to guess what it is from uh, the shape of the bag and I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. I'm going to just show you what it is and uh, here it is. Oh, wait a second, it's completely wrapped in foam. <laughs> this was brand new. I tried on a store model and I got a brand new one. The essay was kind enough to get me a you know, brand new one. So you can still probably tell what it is and there's no fanfare about this. So here we go. It is the medium college bag. No, it's not. It's the medium envelope bag. I'm not even gonna retake that. It's the medium envelope bag and I was just wrong before. And it's covered in the styrofoam and stuff that I'm gonna just take this part off here, the packaging, so you can at least see the bag. Maybe? Oh wow, it's like really in there, isn't it? I was gonna just unwrap this with you on camera, but it might be a little bit more complicated. <gasps> okay, guess what's still on the bag? <laughs> oh boy, okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to take this into my local store and have them deal with that. Wasn't expecting that to happen. The, the security tag is still on it. Well, when they said that it was really wrapped up, they meant really wrapped up. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not wearing this this weekend. <laughs> okay, well, that is very funny. That's super funny. Uh, I, I'm more amused than anything else. It's gonna be a little bit annoying to have to like go in to get that taken off, but I'm sure it'll be fine, probably. Anyway, this is the medium envelope bag. I was going to say the college bag again and I would be wrong a second time. This is the medium envelope bag in the Madelise, mixed Madelise uh, style in the black with silver hardware. 
I like this bag. I'm not going to be doing an in-depth review today, obviously, because I just got it and I have tried it on a number of times and I've even tried my things in it before. I originally, I had told myself that I wouldn't be getting it because it does go in quite a bit at the sides. But I also discovered on my nth try-on that it's got enough height that I can fit most of my things in um, height up and down as opposed to side to side. So that really gets me uh, the ability to maximize the space a little bit more. I think it's such a handsome bag and I like that it's dressy but also can be dressed down casual because of the silver hardware in, in my opinion. And I, as evidenced by today and also um, by how I tried it on a lot of times, I wear a lot of like hoodies and, and kind of like casual wear and street style. And I thought this really would be a nice addition to my collection. I don't have a lot of silver hardware bags and I've been really wanting to add one. And I've been really wanting to add this bag to my collection specifically. And now was kind of the time to bite the bullet. I was in Italy, it was much less expensive in euros over USD. I was gonna get that back too, so that was really cool. And um, I, I'm really glad that I did this. I'm really glad that I bought it. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit bummed by the fact that there's a security dog on it and I'm gonna have to get that taken off. But yeah, it's um, gonna just have to be something to do. Um, <laughs> That's so funny. So it is completely still fully wrapped. The tissue paper and packing stuff is in here. The chains are fully wrapped in uh, foam. So I'm actually, I think, I hope this is okay, but I think I'm gonna just do this be a reveal and not like a mod shots try on and just tell you a little bit about the experience buying it. So I'll, I'll do a whole dedicated video with the security tech taken off. I'll have to have that done. I'll do a whole video dedicated to that later and I'll show you the mod shots. I'll show you some pictures of me trying it on, I guess, but you know, uh, moving on. I just want to tell you what I paid for it because I think that's something to share and I think it's like kind of cool actually by how much I did or didn't pay. So I'm going to just put this down for a second and take a breath. Oh my gosh, it's, I've been filming for a little bit. This is my third video that I've been filming, so... <laughs> So let me consult my notes because uh, I wrote everything down because I thought that would be easier to, to keep in track of. So when I originally was looking at this bag, this bag I think retailed for I think $22.50, something like that. And it went through a couple of price increases and it, it currently is, it currently was when I went to Italy, it was being sold for $25.90 in, in US, in, in the US boutiques. So this was a $2,590 bag. And then with tax, it would have been, um, I, my tax has 6% tax so it would have been something like $27.45, so like $27.50 for, for this bag. In Italy, it was 1,950 euros, which in conversion was about $1,912. So already I was paying basically $1,900 instead of like $27.50. That's a huge saving. So that's that's like an 800, that's basically an $830 savings. And then I got tax back and I, I didn't actually have any idea how much that back I was going to get because I was told a bunch of different things. Like I was told that it would be 20% and then it was going to be 8% and then it might be 10%. But if you have the conversion factored in, it would be more like 7%. So I had no idea. I was expecting to get maybe like $100 back on this. So it would have been like 1900 down to 1800 and I actually got $220 back, which was, I was not complaining about, my goodness. Also, by the way, that back was super easy and I got the refund in like a matter of days. I heard a lot of horror stories about the that back return and how long it took and how sometimes you didn't get it, but I just downloaded the Global Blue app and did the automatic process at the airport and I was able to track the refund uh, over the next couple of days and then I got a, a notification from the app that my refund had been processed and then I got the money credited to my card like three days later. So it was a lot simpler for me. I don't know if that's just my luck, which is would be unusual because I don't have a lot of good luck. Case in point, having to have surgery before I left for Italy, literally like and a half before, but I digress. Um, I, I don't know if it's my luck or if like they've just really streamlined the process. You know, generally if you do app stuff or like internet stuff, it's a lot easier than trying to do like something by mail or like later anything like that so it just it was really easy and super fast so i got 220 dollars that back and so it was basically it was 1692 dollars after that so just under 1700 dollars so 1700 dollars and then in the us it would have been 
$27.50, so I saved basically $1,050 on this bag. Over $1,000 just from buying it in Italy and then getting that back. Like, my goodness, the savings that can be made on some luxury items if you buy them in Europe over the US was, it was amazing. I mean, I knew that because I'd watched a lot of videos on it, but then experiencing it in person was really amazing and I'm really glad that I took advantage to buy this bag that I've been wanting for such a long time. And also, then YSL had their price increase. And so this bag went up to $2,950. So this bag is now a $3,000 bag, technically. And I paid $1,700 for it. So I saved a lot of money on this bag, buying it when I did and when I did, like just before the increase hit. I haven't, truly, I haven't really been, after I got my Delvo uh, several months ago, I really haven't had a wandering eye for a lot of different bags. I've really been, I've really been thinking about like two um, bags, really for the most part. You know, I always like vintage Chanel. I always like looking at different things, but in terms of purchasing, I've only really wanted to purchase two bags and this is one of them. And I, you know, I've been kind of putting off purchasing it for a really long time. And I finally did bite the bullet at a very reasonable price, in my opinion, for luxury. And I'm, as I said, again, I'm very glad I did. I'm very happy with it. I'm looking forward to wearing this bag. I'm looking forward to styling it. I'm looking forward to getting the security tag taken off of it. That's fun. That's, it's, that's, that is so hilarious. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Talking about my luck, right? Like, my goodness gracious, that's so silly. That's so silly. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to be able to use this bag in some time in the future after I get the security tag taken off of it and looking forward to styling it. And I think it'll add to my collection because it is something that I don't have yet. I, I don't have a black bag with silver hardware, certainly nothing in this style. And I'm looking forward to being able to use it in a way that I don't have other bags for this purpose. So yeah. I'm excited about it. I'm happy to have shared this with you. It's a quick little video and, uh, I, you know, I was actually going to do mod shots and stuff and show you what fits, but then there's all this wrapping and then there's a security tag and I think I might just wait to go to the boutique to show them the bag first, so I hope that's okay. I hope that you enjoy this little unboxing video, well, unbagging video, half unboxing, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this very silly uh, random happenstance story time. If you've recently purchased something from YSL or otherwise, I'd love for you to share it down below. Or if you got a really good deal on something, either buying in a different country or just like finding a fantastic deal or getting a cool gift with purchase, please do share. I love to share that stuff with you and like celebrate your achievements and like your accomplishments and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know if buying something is really an accomplishment, but sometimes you get a good deal. I consider it an accomplishment. So, you know, please do share with me if you like like to. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.